Who wants to recap what happened last week then? We'll get us started. Um, uh, we were basically continuing uh, the truck scene where we got ambushed by Rambo Dwarf and we fucking killed him thanks to the Hobgoblins being controlled by Sep. Uh, stole a bunch of his equipment, threw him over. Well, actually, we tossed him in like the fucking passenger seat of the of the truck. And then uh, after that, since he wasn't responding back, because fucking a backup squad of literal fucking civvies, we could probably guesstimate. Or, yeah, like just came by in fucking helicopters and we had to deal with them, but they were fucking easy as shit because they wasted all their ammo just fucking trying to like gun us down in one go. But we dealt with them, but unfortunately, apparently, the hobgoblins in the truck behind us, who apparently are very skilled, by the way, could not deal with the fucking uh, group of people that, like, you know, special forces dropped down onto their truck behind us. And when we were about to enter a tunnel, kind of ending the sequence, they fucking just ran into the wall and blew up. Thus losing half of our fucking equipment, like half of our fucking merchandise, and obviously all half of our pay. And yeah, we gave it back. We gave it. We gave the half. We only got half of it. We walked back. Took us four hours. We looted some bodies that fell off the truck, so we got some extra stuff. Um, and yeah, now, now I think we're in the ship i don't i forgot if we like took off or we're still like in that process you you guys did uh take off and leave back for absalom station you went through trip travel and everything right um, right right you guys had even talked to tarika and she had mentioned how uh like she's gonna try her best to smooth things over with the company uh i believe there was something said about like don't hold your breath too long on that but <laughs> she's gonna try her best hey. okay, just let my cat out. Get the fuck out of here, will you? God damn it. So petty. Anyway, um... Yeah, and she had also informed you that Lord Sinjin, the guy who had hired you for the gun-toting job in the first place, wanted to have a face-to-face. -face. Yeah, yeah, but he's gonna probably try to kill us face-to-face, -face, so... That's not the impression you got from Tarika, but you can assume that there's probably some cause for anger? Of course, yeah, we, just lost, we just lost half the shipment and we probably didn't pay him because we'd prefer to pay the company. She did say no. that like uh, it was a business proposal specifically is what he wanted to talk to you about. Uh, okay, 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 interesting. Whether right. or not that's code for bring behind the barn and shoot in the back of the head or not is uh, up to you guys to figure out. Oh, that would be unprofessional. <laughs> he is he is a drow though what does that, that mean that does well, bring I, us back up how many drows have you known yeah. enough to know that they're not above stabbing you in the back oh yeah I guess yeah. <laughs> but that does go ahead and brings us up to speed we're currently on Absalon Station you know he uh, is pr at the King Kerr uh, I believe the King Curry's Kabash Kaba? Kashba uh, something uh, like that uh, which is a uh, pretty much a makeshift casino slash nightclub that orbits around Absalom Station, built Ooh, out of like different types of cargo freighters. Uh, if you want to, but oh, that's pretty is, much is, where we are. Is there a place where I can sell like this Pike and auto target rifle, or does somebody <laughs> in the group want the auto target rifle? No. You could probably sell those on Absalom Station. There's absolutely a market here that you can yeah, sell Yeah, because like I that. honestly just need to buy like a few spare batteries and I'll be okay for whatever <laughs> this this, this yeah. journey will like fucking bring to us. Yeah, but you can... Uh, the base price for selling equipment is... Uh, it's 10% of its average 10, price. Yeah, 10% of the average but, price. You could put, potentially negotiate that higher. Right, uh, right. But, but yeah. you, said, you said a pipe was like 700, so that's going to sell for 70, right? Uh, ten percent. I believe yes. that's seventy, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah, that is. That, that, yeah, yeah. I for that's some enough. reason was thinking seven, which is one yeah, percent. I, <laughs> I didn't want to say anything last time. That's, that's uh, my bad. Plenty. Oh yeah, a, a pike is four seventy-five, so you would sell it for forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's plenty for uh, a battery, I believe. <laughs> so if you wanted to do that, you can just uh, go ahead and add the 47 credits and delete the pike up your uh 
character sheet. Unless and nobody else wants did this want on it. And nobody, and nobody, nobody I don't doesn't want it, brother. All right. Uh, okay, and then I guess I will add uh, what credits, right? Forty-seven. Yeah, just at the top right of the. How about the auto? Sheet, yeah. How about the? How about the auto target rifle? I don't want it, brother. At seven okay. fifty-five, so you would get seventy-five from it. Trust so me, 70. I know how to do math. <laughs> okay, then I got 122. Perfect. Yeah. So when Eki gets back on, if you wanted to do that as well at the same time, uh, we can go ahead and just say he did before you guys were in your meeting or whatever it is that you guys right, are doing. So should I should I delete the auto target stuff now and the bike? Yeah, yeah, you can just delete those off your character sheet. That's no problem. Cool, cool. And then I'm gonna eat. Cool, I can fucking buy battery now and I can split the rest with the, the crew if that's if that's what people want. I believe a battery is sixty credits, yeah. Yep. A standard a uh Yeah, just a standard, standard just capacity. A standard. Yeah. So do I do that now or do we do that? Yeah, then? yeah, you you're you're in the same marketplace. You can Alrighty, easily do so that. Yeah. I'm at sixty two credits now from the one twenty two and I have an additional battery. Yeah, I can. You can pull it from the compendium, but I can go ahead and just do that real fast. Thank if, you. I, I don't know real... how to pull it out from the compendium. Yep. All right. Uh, go ahead and drag it on your character sheet now. I think I did it. Yeah, I did. Okay, it's in there. Oh, bless yeah. it. Okay, cool, yep. cool. I'm I'm happy. All right. Uh, then there you go. I think you're all set. You even have a little bit of spending money left over too. Yeah, I can I can help out with the crew. Uh, if you guys have anything else you wanted to do, you could also decide to turn tail and never come back to the system again. That's also possible, <laughs> I suppose. So the session like will this... be over for today because I will have nothing planned for that. But <laughs> so we're we're in this moment where we decided whether we go back to Aposte and talk to Sinjin or Sinjin on Absalon. Sinjin is not on Aposte. Sinjin is at the King Kure's uh, Kashba on Absalon, uh, surrounding Absalon Station. Yeah, you would just take your ship. Oh, over okay, there real okay, fast. So, okay. We could just talk to him then, right? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I'm up for talking. I might as well like. Well, what else are we gonna do? Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take a shower first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure that I'm presentable to the king or whatever. Lord, whatever that yeah. means in this scenario. I, I'm gonna go uh, to the washroom and empty my android bladder. <laughs> you change your oil? Okay. All right, sorry, my cat was just uh, wanting to play a bit too much with my hands. Um, I see. Is there anything that Richard wants to do? <laughs> I think Richard. we know the drill at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing um, Fortnite on the right entire out? drive over. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would imagine you're you're all set up on station right now, which has like probably the better network set up so you're probably also like uploading a lot of your stuff to yep. your youtube channel <laughs> yeah can i upload my thousands of hours of footage including <laughs> all like, of it. like a big dump, on like, on on the cut yeah, raw unedited <laughs> like into the light oh god yeah. pov yeah, it's uh <laughs> You would pretty m with how much there is like data transfers in this time period are pretty fast, but uh, you might have to like give it a few. <laughs> but yeah. Um. All right. Um, can uh, I give it a so clickbait title? Yeah. Uh, the entirety <laughs> is it all in one video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I'm uploading it all like it's it's about the length of one of those like the entire B movie, but every time a breath is taken, like the entire Shrek movie plays, but then <laughs> every time there's I don't know a letter Q, then it, the the entire Matrix trilogy plays. It's it's about one of those sizes. All right, then yeah, you can give it one. What's the clickbait title that you give it? You have, to come, you have to think um, these things, man. You gotta come up with them. <laughs> you know, um, there's definitely a gone wrong, gone sexual. Yeah. Is um, there? Did it at all ever gone, go sexual? Called. 
Well, I mean, it, it, I was streaming the whole time, so yeah. or like recording the whole time, so there were definitely some um, private alone moments Richard had. And <laughs> Sorry, this is a, this isn't going on YouTube. This is going on the hub. Yeah, reported to the YouTube staff, but by the time they actually watch yeah, they the whole to thing the to whole judge thing. me, yeah. <laughs> by that oh, time, it's looks like yeah. it's already reached like a thousand views, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah. I don't oh, know. Boy. Uh, yeah. Well, um, if you think of it, tell me. <laughs> you know? Do we have a crew name? I don't know what our fucking crew it's name really is. It's really just the crew of the BD514. It's really all it's been. Well, yeah. We came up with a name for ourselves. I don't okay. think you guys have said it. Yeah, I don't think it's ever done. I've just been calling you okay. guys the crew of the BD514. Um, all right. So it's going to be like the adventures of Richard and his peons. Um, <laughs> Gone wrong, gone sexual. If you're uh, if you're not careful, it will giveaway. sound like an art off video title. Yeah, there's Ooh. a give the giveaways in the title too. Um, yeah, what are you giving away? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this stick around to the end of the video. Watch, yeah, stick around <laughs> to the end of my three week video to find. <laughs> Oh no, but you can't do that because then it's gonna be like they'll just go to the end of the video. So you have to be yeah, like stick around to through. some point in the middle of the video. Yeah. Yeah. Um anyways. Alright. So that's what you've been doing while while everybody else has either been yeah, going shopping or I, taking can I a actually shower. <laughs> now that I what? have that skill. I have my vid gamer skill. <laughs> well, you wanna I roll win. for vid gamer? Yeah. Alright, roll yeah. for vid gamer. I guess. It's not that good, Plus eight. but you do have a good modifier, so it is it is above a top 10. 10. <laughs> yeah, it's not top 10. It's more like top 15, but yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, you got you got trounced by a guy that had the scar. Unfortunately, he got to it first, but you know, that's just how these things go. I got, I got um, stuck with a mercy pistol from the beginning. Meanwhile, really you down. look up from your pad and you're already leading, leaving Absalom Station and you're not sure when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> just because you weren't paying attention oh shit yeah does my download stop is my download interrupted uh, it's a it's a nice range of just like you you can still see absalon station from where okay. you are so it's like you're still fine it's Damn, still on the same strong network. wi-fi yeah same 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 like network i guess um all right after taking a shower, after selling some stuff and buying some stuff and playing some video games, you guys start making your way in the BD-514 over to, I absolutely don't want to get the name wrong this time, King Kernay's Kasbah, uh, which is like this massive casino slash nightclub slash mega dive bar formed by like welding many freighters and smaller ships that were like designated for deconstruction, but like are just like put together all in this massive sh like basically space station not right. nearly the size of Absalon station but it's still like a very sizable thing uh and as you guys approach you eventually get a little blip on your front dash uh indicating that you have a message happen do not. Oh open. shit! Uh, yeah. yeah um, <laughs> Doesn't I, matter who I opens it. <laughs> I'll just uh, pause this real quick. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll I'll pick up the call. All right. Um, what appears to be a female drow with long white hair uh, and seemingly dressed in like battle gear for days. Uh, I have a picture uh, Richard that I tips show. tips a head towards her and he goes, "Milady." Absolutely, yeah. Apparently, that that is absolutely required. I can go and show you a picture of what she looks like. This is actually on the Ooh. front cover of the original book of the of this first mm. book. We're no heroes, Milady. Uh, but a holographic message of this shows up on your screen. Sh laser shurikens. He Don't worry about like, it. Uh, Don't like... worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> she's, de she's definitely. I see you are lead. trained in the art of the blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I too um, study the art. <laughs> I believe that you are the crew of the BD five one four. That would be me, milady. I'm the captain, Richard. Oh god. 
<laughs> I've opened up one of the docking bays. Please come in immediately. <laughs> Open up your docking bay. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna fucking the get call the ends immediately. <laughs> 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 and like a little ping on your system shows where you're going to be docking. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. Oh, so like she's you... not on the call anymore? Okay. Yeah, no, she hung up. <laughs> all, right, all right, well, I'll say more in person then. <laughs> oh, smell my... my way to you. Oh. <laughs> all right. Uh, so assuming you guys keep pace, you do eventually dock at what appears to be like the docking bay of a freighter that has been welded to the rest of this massive complex um, and find a place where you can land and easily uh, get out of your spaceship. Um, Brew. This is around the point where I can play this new uh, playlist I put together. It's not super long, but it's there. As... Uh, you hear off in the distance the buzzing of people dancing and enjoying a relatively good time as you open the doors and find yourselves in what is essentially a massive rave. Uh, many different species are uh, all enjoying themselves, like all that are humanoid and different. I have a picture I can show you of what it kind of looks like. Here we go. Uh, that's kind of like a bar over in like a corner somewhere, but it kind of shows off like uh, the different races that are here, different like uh, organisms of all walks of life and all planets. Uh, kind that of guy lighting picture. up a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm curious what that thing in the middle is. You know, with the tentacles, it's just floating. That's always look. That looks weird. Uh, but yeah. Um, eventually that same individual, the, uh, the, uh, sorry, I forgot the name of the species, Drow, uh, the Drow woman does approach you and says, My name is Demita. I'm going to be escorting you to Lord Sinjin. Nice Demita. Oh my god. <laughs> I can kill you in 15 different ways right this second. Well, that wouldn't be very nice for a flower such as yourself, am I right, m'lady? Woo! <laughs> oh. The urge to kill riseth. Uh, she simply starts walking away, uh, assuming that you are following. If you do not, no skin off her back. I feel I feel a combination of like laughing and cringe at the same time. <laughs> Do you follow her? <laughs> I guess I'll follow behind. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, I'm waiting for fucking Richard to move because he's the captain. You should be I in the front of line. inspect your weapons. Oh my god. They are, in fact, glowing shurikens at her side along with a nice dagger. Looks expensive, honestly. She's got a very expensive looking fit. <laughs> What's, uh, what race is she? Drow. She's a drow. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, I wouldn't. She's more likely to peg you, but... <laughs> She's more likely to stab you than peg you. Would she be a... She would be a life science, yeah. Okay. <laughs> life science? What are you uh, writing down? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Don't worry about <laughs> You guys uh, start following her and try to like get past most of the bigger crowds and staying away from the dance floor as it is very hard to traverse when people are on it. Um, eventually finding yourself back more towards a back room, which is like this big conference hall sort of deal. Almost like a VIP area, but more for business rather than pleasure. Um, as the doors close, the sound outside of the music does kind of deaden as, uh, but you can still perfectly hear it through the walls. Uh, as it is loud enough to be hurt. Uh, loud enough that's to be hurt. That's a good. That's Sorry. a good line, Jack. I'm gonna use that. I so, uh, is this call for business or for pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as the figure at the end of the table, uh, this fairly handsome-looking drow, I suppose, uh, male this time, uh, does say uh it would be business actually uh as this is the man oh, who, oh wow that appears before you uh demita hey, girl, goes you to a guy already 
Demita goes to the side of him uh, and is simply like taking up like that bodyguard type of stance. Uh, as there are several other individuals in the room as well, all pretty much dressed in suits, uh, looking mm -hmm. much along the lines of security personnel. Uh, they're all pretty much trying to avoid eye contact with you specifically, mainly just kind of looking stoic. Uh, can they even make eye contact with me? <laughs> they probably can't. So they don't know where to look. <laughs> uh, I do. Wait, so do you actually have eyes, Richard? Or no, are they I, I am blind. I have blind mm -hmm. sense. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Something okay. like that. Something Technically, like that. he has like dark vision even, which I'm not sure where his eyes are to have that, but he has it. I think... Well, it says that I have blind sense thought and I have dark vision, which I, I think that that's just supposed to be like I can psychically sense my surroundings. I guess that's probably what I, it's I guess that's why it's saying like blind sense thought for 30 feet, but then like it's, it's weaker beyond the that contemplative feet. species is very <laughs> complicated to understand. Um, yeah, but uh, he uh, this man appears to have a drink in his hand that he's slowly sipping from and he motions uh, for all of you to sit down. You must be the crew of the BD-514, if I'm not mistaken. The ones that have lost me a great deal of money. Uh, oh, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, he would be the captain then. Have you met our captain yet? <laughs> <laughs> right here. Big brain, man. I just, po I just point the finger like, just unassumingly towards Blevins, like, captain. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? We got a fucking rat over here. <laughs> right. Um, Quick question. Are you two, like, a thing like a couple or is this like <laughs> oh my god. god i lost my page one second <laughs> uh i would that assure you this... that demita is my bodyguard actually oh sweet sorry oh, uh yeah uh what the fuck <laughs> Yeah, um, oh you know, lost you money, we got lost money uh, too, so I think we're about even on that front. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find a very specific line in this book I remembered reading, but for some reason cannot find it. Uh, oh boy. Well, I guess I'm not gonna find it. Uh, anyway, uh... Thank you, Jack. Club music rocks. Bump and grind. <laughs> There's more supposed Ooh, to be playing. Oh, oh, there we go. The, the second track yeah, started. Yeah. I was like, why is it silent all of a sudden? I thought I removed the silence. Oh, so um, yeah. Um, I laughed at you. Oh boy. I'm so I'm so happy that I'm not able oh, to. Find oh, these person, movies. you mean? Well, uh, I'll throw great. Off. I couldn't find this. Yeah, my bad. Um, Yes. Uh, where was I? Where did I leave off? Because I completely lost my train of thought to um, other other. I thoughts. said something about. Oh yeah, I said like we're about even, right. right? Because we lost money. That you lost money. We're about. I think. I think we're even there. <laughs> well, I suppose you could put it that way. Though that would be the fastest way to find yourself in a black hole. <laughs> There's only one black hole I'm interested in, and I wink at. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a sudden <laughs> flick, like one of her shurikens does turn on and like there's just these blit, but she like holds herself back and puts it back okay, into her right, holster. Right. Just like you can see that she's com almost completely lost her composure there. Okay, uh, all right. Sinjin okay, just seems right, amused. Uh... Yeah. Um, I am Lord Sinjin. Um, and I do believe that you have already met uh, Demita and gotten well acquainted it by the looks of it what are you lord of ah, that's a good question <laughs> that is a good question isn't it what the heck um, is this are we praising a law here <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> well i'm a lord of the golden league of course oh god do you have like oh. property i suppose i own quite a big share and several uh business stakes in the Golden League? I'm sure you've heard of us. But like, you know, the lords are typically like owners of a small plot of land. I suppose lord is of many things. In this case, you will refer to me as Lord Sinjin for the remainder of this, well, uh, so business you're, meeting. So I you're suppose. like a lord. What's the hierarchy look like here? So like, is it lord and then what's above you, like emperor? Is there an emperor? You make a lot of enemies, don't you? 
Um, what's the correct answer here? <laughs> the answer is to shut up and continue to listen. Uh, or we could make this fast. But I'm uh, sure the cleanup costs are something that is in your accounts right now. Uh, okay. You missed that part, Pete. What? No, Which just part? keep on. Right. I'm sure you're curious why I called you here. Uh... I... I would like to assure you that right now it isn't to exact revenge for losing 1.2 million credits on my behalf. Uh, that wasn't uh, our fault. And do explain why it wasn't. I'm, I'm aware of certain events that may have transpired on Boxhead, but I'm... I'm, I'm Fortunately, my information networks aren't quite up to par when it comes that far out. What did happen? Do indulge me. He kind of like puts his head out forward and it's like holding his head with his hands. Uh huh. Um, Just kind of like out, dish out, girl gossip. Out of character. What did we? What happened to Sky's character? Uh, she. Well, Sky's character is, as far as you're aware, got off at Aposte, said I'm not working anymore, and left. Okay, just, I just I wanted can't, to know like, if they were still in character or if they were like, if they if we were just like retconning that they never existed. I didn't know. No, no, no. They they they, they existed, but they they were fed up with how. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm gonna blame it all on them. <laughs> <laughs> they never even got uh, a boxer. <laughs> well, you see, we were in the middle of negotiations, and then just this former crewmate of ours just like went insane or something and started attacking it was it was pretty crazy like we we were we were negotiating with with the with your little leader there is this the one you were referring to and you kind of hold out like a button in his hand and presses it a little holographic display of ashlyn historia appears on this on the in the middle dash yeah that one the the chick he presses it again it zooms out that they are currently working at a gas station right now <laughs> Uh, uh, ah, that's what, the, a, that's what that's what that's like you're kin to in a gas station. Yeah, is there like a is there like a fucking predator missile like ready and waiting? Yeah, like but... like you, it's is not there, a is life, there like a little it... red dot on the back of her head. Right now? <laughs> no, no, no. This, this footage was taken from a security camera a couple of days ago. Uh, oh, okay. I assure you that there is an alibi here. Wait, why, this music's why are great. you lying okay, to this guy? Maybe, maybe, no, 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 I wasn't trying to lie. Sorry, hold on. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> what, what are you giving him okay. a crap story for? Hold, well, I thought that, okay, he's from Golden Leaf, right? He's Gold from the Golden League. League. The, the, yeah. the, basically the space the the space mob. Yeah, sorry. I thought, I thought he was mad at us for the berries. No, he's mad at you no, for, the for the guns. guns brother. The guns. He just, okay. it so happens and, that the guy, like, he's also Sorry. part of the I thought he was talking out. about the berries. Oh, that's okay, okay, I, then, yeah. So it, that's where it, I was the, trying to blame the berries. He is, in fact, talking, yeah. yeah, he is, in fact, talking about the guns specifically okay. on Boxa. Well, then that makes sense. Okay, then then we could go ahead and pull out. this back, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a retcon a little bit. Wow. Anyways. Okay, so. So, you're explaining about how it's not our fault. Yes. Um, uh, take it away, sir. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, you see, when we got on the planet, uh, there were we were approached by a certain short, short and statured individual who uh, said that he was representative of the rebellion on the planet. Uh, do we ever catch his name? Uh, uh, not really, ooh, not in character, no, yeah. but you guys, you guys as players know his name was Vog Mind Brewer. I, I like raised up my like finger a little. He was very, very competent. Yeah, he was yeah. a, he was a pretty tough guy. He uh, ambushed our caravan as we were heading over to deliver the goods and kind of half our caravan got blown up. And yeah, uh, kind of crazy. They had like helicopters and like that was them, beyond uh, our that was them, beyond our control. Them hobgoblins weren't much help as far as defending the caravan either. Didn't we also take the goods like to where they were supposed to go, like 
where we were told to take them and then the, the fortress. they told us to take them somewhere else no no we were on our way to take, that wanted to yeah. do, do that well i thought like whenever we first were landing the ship like oh, couldn't yeah. we just take it directly to the like, correct place their their flagship essentially told you to go down to that place yeah but then when you got there they told you to go somewhere else yeah yeah so so like they made you know the client made us do a bunch of runarounds through dangerous territory instead of just flying over um and then we got ambushed by some helicopters and then we tried to radio in again for help from the client and uh didn't get anything they told us to just uh you know take out two helicopters and a squad of armed guards by ourselves and uh well we we protected our half they uh didn't protect their half so you're blaming it all on the Gitteron Authority. To be uh, fair, they are not, horrible not all to negotiate on, with. Not I am all, like also the, blaming the miners, it on the rebellion. Yeah, the <laughs> miner. I mean, obviously, yeah. If it wasn't for the miners, everything would have gone without a hitch. But uh, rebellion is rebelling. They had the gall to re rebel while we were there. Like they, they should have just waited until we left. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah, well, it was a very complicated situation that we were not prepared for uh, gear-wise or um, emotionally. <laughs> he kind of, like, looks you all up. Now, kind of maintaining that still, like, half-smile he has in the picture uh, throughout the conversation. He looks kinda, to each one of you. Yeah. I kind of give him a half-smile, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> It was as if I tried to uh, wrestle your friend over there. <laughs> well, <laughs> sir, you see, we're not we weren't we're not paid very well to handle armed situations like that. You know, we haven't we haven't if been we, paid at all. Yeah, we haven't really been paid at all for this, and the either for our last job, which turned south pretty quick too. You know, you'd think that the company putting us in all these nasty situations would give us better gear but uh unfortunately we we gotta make do with what we got yeah our I ship have doesn't heard, even have guns <laughs> i have heard that edge corp is quite profit based and yeah. of course when an entire rebellion attacks your convoy and of course trying to make any trying to make the Gitteron authority do anything they don't want to do is always and he just kind of like sighs for a moment just like annoying I suppose, but that still doesn't change the fact I am 1.2 million credits out of the bank right now, so how can we make this up? He like kind of oh, like, yeah. like rubs his chin a little bit. You know, I do have something you could do for me. Just a quick question. Have you tried uh, asking the Gitteron Authority? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been on many communications with them in the past they're they're not very receptive are they yes i'm i i truly do feel for you in this situation i do i want you to understand that uh it doesn't change the fact i don't have my money indeed so, well i have a proposition for you i'm i'm listening Currently, you are both almost ostracized from your own company, and I have every reason to hate you as well. But you are in the perfect position for an acquisition. Uh, All right. Uh -huh. Is this going to be a sex thing or? <laughs> <laughs> no, I assure you that is for Sundays. We are. Richard looks uh. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and you are not invited. Um, oh. However, how much do you know about Edge Corp? Well, they're a bunch uh, of dicks. They don't. They don't pay us. Can I Google it real quick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you actually go read to a Wikipedia entry. <laughs> yeah, you actually go to try to connect on your tablet, and as soon as you've tried that, you realize you have no signal in here. Hey, what's yeah. the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> I assure you there is uh, no connection to the outside world in here other than the music. Uh, it makes conversations like these avoidable in court, I suppose is the best uh, way gotcha. to put it. 
Well, oh, but if there's no connection, that wouldn't stop somebody from like recording locally to somewhere. Right? You at that point do check on your pad for like your suit's transmission, and you see that the line has been cut, oh. or jammed, or something along those lines. Hmm. It, you are not currently recording, or at least your it, suit's trying to, but it's not being able to send. It's not able to be sent anywhere. Okay, but the suit can hold two hours of footage itself. Sure, you can check that later if you would like. Okay. Yo, they, they have that CCP technology where you record, but when you look back, it's just static. Mm, I guess. Powerful individuals. I... Um, right. Well, one of the higher-ups, I believe your vice president of the company, uh, and he's, uh, this is absolutely the game master trying to remember where the name is, Aline Rezora. Uh... And I can... Kind of go ahead and throw out the name in chat for you guys as well. A higher up of the company, a vice president, like I said, has been working on some rather interesting technology, or at least advancements in technology, to null space cargo holds. How much oh. do you know about null space technology? Uh, no, wait. What is that the same? Yeah, can I can I roll is that the know same about as that? the space yeah. that we travel through? It would be, I believe, a science skill of some kind. Uh, well, uh, there is not, life science, would, physical science, or mysticism. It would be physical science. It would be either physical? physical science or mysticism. Honestly, it's your choice. Okay. I think normally everything to do with like the planning out is physical science, and then like anything that's like supernatural is mysticism. Uh, well, good news with your role. You do know that it is a combination of both. It is a uh, hybrid technology meant for like containing uh, a vaster amount of space within a smaller amount of space. You can kind of think of it like TARDIS technology, where it's bigger on the inside. An ender chest. Okay. Amazing. Basically. Um, I'm actually going to reference like a game inventory system. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not incorrect. Uh you see, they have been trying to make a entire cargo hold into the size of a null space, or, or try to fit an entire cargo hold with null space technology. Now, this is nothing new. Null space technology has existed for some time now. However, trying to make it wider than about five feet, well, that's just hasn't been possible. However, I've paid a lot of money to learn more about this project they've been working on, and it is, in fact, they have made a breakthrough. And he kind of clicks on a key fob in front of him, and you see this holographic image of a prototype-looking ship appear, and I can actually kind of show you a picture of what the ship looks like uh, right now. Did you do? There you go. And this uh, a holographic image of this kind of pops up. Ah, uh, they have well, actually it's, cracked it. It's certainly uh, boxy. Well, I assure you, it's not what's hey. on the outside that matters, hey, but more it has, so it has a it has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> imagine what you could do with such technology. You could transport uh, twice the amount of medication on a single ship to alien countries, or even have much bigger spaces for people to live in as well. Honestly, uh, this technology is a massive breakthrough in the world, and you would think that, well, you would hear more about it in the news. So, of course. Uh, you're saying that size matters, and then I wink at the guard. <laughs> <sighs> Well, when it's much bigger on the inside, I assure you, it matters greatly to me. And you just see that Demita in the back is just, like, trying to like, hold back it? a like, can it, can it, Is it just going over He his doesn't head seem to care. Oh, okay. It was yeah, like... He... <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Now, it does happen to be, because Edge Corp would like to keep this type of technology to themselves. I'm, I'm sure they find it much pro more profitable to do such, as they can transport on ships like the BD-514 twice as much cargo, even the amount of cargo that would require a massive freighter to go from one place to another, completely uh, falling under the radar of pirates that would like to, <laughs> uh, just a vast amounts of wealth that would be inside such a thing, hiding Wait. in plain sight, which is what they uh... plan to do. 
See, I, I want to say something, but I feel like it's actually more in character for um, Razor to say that uh, that sort of technology would be really good for um, smuggling. Right? Because <laughs> I mean, you, you create keep, like vast amounts of you storage don't know. in a small area. Like, yeah, I know, but I, we haven't that's gotten to that part That's why I'm it. saying, like, out. Of, I'm trying to say this out of character, that it's... Like... Right. I know, but I'm also trying to maintain a low profile. Like, I don't okay. want somebody in, in the event that they know that I used to smuggle things. Maybe um, I he, owe somebody a debt or something. He does kick, like, click the key fob again, and the picture does change to what appears to be, like, a massive construction plate, like, in the middle of space. Almost like a, a, a like a spaceship making factory that is like currently a, above a planet something like a uh, death star 2 situation except you make ships on it instead of blow up planets with it but it is yeah. fairly large um uh, this does, is the horse hey, eye over the place it. yeah he doesn't get it <laughs> no i got it know. i i i know. Know. <laughs> it was a it's... star wars reference i got it i know but the the death star 2 it was like being built off off of a planet in like yeah. the one movie so it's like half built for the whole movie <laughs> uh yeah but no the, the, this plate is fully built it's it is used for building starships which she's about to explain okay. uh this is the horse eye orbital plate uh that currently resides above abalon it is used in constructing such uh such ships uh by various different corporations and admittance is almost excluded from the local populace, except for shareholders in those various companies, which is where you come in. Oh, you giving us some shares? That's awfully generous of you. I assure you, I will not be doing that. You will be receiving them themselves. You see, in your contracts for Edge Corp, uh, well, part of the severance package is, in fact, some shares in Edge Corp stock. Oh. So this is uh -huh. what I want you to do. I want you to quit your jobs, negotiate your severance packages, and get on the horse eye over to plate and steal this ship for me. Well, if we officially quit our jobs, they'll probably take the ship, and then we won't have any transportation. Well, I'm sure you can find a shuttle. There are shuttles that go everywhere now. Could you not just provide us with some mode of locomotion? Maybe a taxi <laughs> service? Yeah, You're, well, I'm sure somebody of your stature um, yeah, has, you know, has has many methods of transportation. You probably own your I own am known to pay up front. Business. Do not worry. If you take the job, that is. I will certainly pay up front for certain services you may need or even equipment you might require so that we don't have a repeat of a certain incident. Um, can I, uh, I don't know if it's going to help us, but I, I would like to cast it anyways. Um, I'd like to cast a charming veneer on myself. <laughs> All right. Why? To give me that plus one to a charisma check or charisma base check. I feel How like long does it last? coming up. Uh, 10 minutes. I think. Oh, that's, that's funny. It. Hmm. So, do you want the job or not? Well, uh, is this going to settle our debt with you? Oh, I assure you it will settle your debt and make you far rich beyond your dreams. I'm paying up front a little bit, but you will absolutely receive your share for this job, I assure you. Mm. <laughs> Perhaps even enough to buy your own ship. Well, I think we need to be a little more specific on that. Um, yeah. How much are we talking here? Well, let's think about it. How long does your species live? Uh, uh, how long do drow live? <laughs> uh, much longer than your species, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, like a thousand years, something like that. We, I, I, you know, I live a pretty long time. Well, I assure um, you that you, you could have enough money to, well, sate someone of my taste for my entire life. Satan, that's um, someone each, of your by the way. taste. <laughs> I assure you, and as he like kind of like twirls a drink that he's been holding, it's quite extravagant. Extravagant. But I can't speak. Extravagant. He doesn't know how to speak. <laughs> yeah. What are words? Um, I ra I raise my hand. I'm like, I don't age. And um, 
let's say that we were to not accept, where does that leave us? <laughs> and he, he kind of thinks about it for a minute. Well, I suppose you would be out of the job, as I can't imagine Edge Corp wants to keep you on the payroll for very much longer. And well, I suppose uh, that would be the end. Uh, I suppose that would be the end of our arrangements. I'd simply hire Ooh, someone yeah. else. So we would be off the hook for the 1.2 mil. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't stop looking over your shoulder, but uh, I suppose. I suppose you don't have to worry about it. Uh, after all, there's not exactly much you could come up with to ever, you know, approach that amount. Well, I for one sure don't like looking over my shoulder, you know. Goblins don't have very flexible necks, so I'm sure interested. Uh, I'm at, we, uh, we're taking a job that pays us before we do anything, yo, I'm in. Do we get Wait, to uh, work closer that, with? Did he say uh, we get paid before this? He said we get say paid a would... portion, um, which is better than which is better portion, than any yeah, which is but... better than any other thing we've done for this company. Not an um, insurmountable amount. How old, if you accept this job? How about two thousand credits up front to split amongst the, each of you for the equipment and things you might need for this job? But of course, afterwards, we're talking millions. Perhaps even billions of credits, depending on how much I can sell the ship for. Well, uh, so uh, just to just to make sure that I have this right, um, this is a heist sort of situation, right? Yes, this would be considered a heist sort situation. So, um, so that's uh, obviously going to require some um, special equipment. Um, do you think 2000 is going to be enough really for us to make sure that we have all the equipment mm -hmm. that we need in order to acquire the asset? Well, I suppose a lot of that would be up to you, but if you think you might need more, I suppose I could be persuaded. I suppose uh, I can persuade. <laughs> uh, I raised my hand up. What? makes like this sounds awesome but this also sounds pretty weird because if you're saying that this ship is as valuable as uh you've uh, made it out to be wouldn't it wouldn't this ship have security on the clock maximum stuff like like you know like amount that they'd be willing to guard such a ship Oh, I assure you, it would definitely be under security, but I also assure you that the amount of money I had to pay just to get a sliver of this information was not insurmountable. Very few people know it even exists, and as such, you would have to keep security details down to, hmm, fend off awareness. Right. Perhaps that could be okay. used to your advantage. Well, you know, I think we're gonna need um, we're gonna need a lot of things. We're gonna need signal jammers. We're probably gonna need some sort of camouflage, um, some some sort of uh, way to get into the ship and be able to actually run it without any authentication as we have now. Um, I think that's definitely gonna require more than two thousand. All right. So, what are you thinking? I mean, you're the experts here. You're the ones that I'm hiring for this. Otherwise, I would have sent out people I already knew for such a job. Yes, well, um, hmm. There are four of us. I think we should at least have a thousand each. It's a little bit steep for... A group that has already proven to have failed in the past. Yes, but we failed again. We've already discussed without pop proper resources. I suppose. Give me a persuasion check if you want a thousand each. Uh, there's no persuasion. Well, it'd be diplomacy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and then Sorry, this gets I'm, the bonus uh, for my charming veneer, right? I run D and D the day before this, so I'm just like persuasion. <laughs> Uh, so I get I get a plus one right for my um, yeah charming veneer. Yes, uh, that applies. I do to believe this, right? so. Yes, this is charisma. Because you cast it on yourself, right? Yeah. Oh. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And he kind of thinks for a moment. No, no, I do believe 2,000 would be enough to cover all the charges. I well, do you at least have transport contact equipment? That, uh, could maybe offer us discounts on on some of those items that we need. I know someone in your position may have certain um, black uh, black market sort of a Zer situation from Destiny Two. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You just kind of look like it, yeah. A little bit with the eyes. Um, no. You don't have any contacts who could uh, help us out, help us find some of these um, non-marketable items. if you items. can't even take care of buying the shopping list, then I suppose I should already look elsewhere anyway. No, no, that's fine, sir. Our captain is just a little bit, you know, he's, he's eccentric. He likes to he likes to try to twist things we'll that be, should not be twisted. I think we'd be more than happy to happy to work with you. I, yeah, I understand um, we get to that work we with are, her too. I understand that we are disposable assets before your richness, as I try to flatter him. Oh please, flattery will get you everywhere, but in that situation it will only make me think less of you. Ah uh, well, I don't okay. I doubt that's possible, <laughs> sir, at this point. Demita will be your point on this, uh, will be your contact outside of me. Uh, as soon as you have acquired the ship, you will meet her out in the Diaspora at a contact she will provide for you. A contact location, sorry. So we, uh, gonna... it has only I guess after we'll be seeing each other, ship. milady. She looks f like... She, like, Richard. takes the drink out of Sinjin's hand and starts downing it. It's just like, Richard, sorry, sir, I, I needed that. Don't think we need to upset our client, uh, our uh, mm, contract offers. Uh, by the way, are we... Wait, never mind. Keeping this under wraps, I understand. <laughs> we got to get away from that corporate thinking, you know? Been doing this for too long. <laughs> System's so, got me down. The man's got me down. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Are we all under agreement then? You'll take the job. Sure, buddy. Soon as them numbers hit our accounts. Well, I don't see any reason to keep us waiting then as he ki he clicks the key fob again. And uh, about uh, 500 credits each, each uh, hit each of your account. You can go ahead and add that to your uh, your account there now. Uh, Richard immediately starts thinking about the uh, vid game that he's been waiting to buy that costs 100 <laughs> credits. Yikes. That is horrible. <laughs> then if we have no further business, um, I suppose we should uh, clear up. If you want anything to drink, that will be on me for tonight. Enjoy your All right. small little vacation. The calm before the storm. Here's Your soiree, to, uh, mutually beneficial arrangements. And he uh, holds up his empty glass that was taken from him at uh, one point. I, I hold up my my empty hand. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the one of the guards ha takes a glass, puts it in your hand, and fills it with ah, something. Well, now that's service. That it is. Well, think of this night. Well, yeah, go ahead. As a continuation for the rest of your lives. Well, indeed, sir. I sure hope that it's uh, it gets better. It only gets better from here, you know. If you have no further questions, then I shall take my leave. Where is he? Where are you going? <laughs> he walks out. Yeah, he walks out another door uh, with his oh, okay. entourage, and they kind of just leave you in the meeting room alone. After that. Uh. It's uh, kind of weird being in here, isn't it, guys? You can leave cut off you from want. the outside. There's no no technology in this room, but the sound of the music. Uh, I think it's it's meditative, you know. Mister Richard, you've been checking your suit data, and it true to form. Uh, all the recordings from when you entered this room are completely wiped. So, uh, how did they wipe like a local file? Good question. You want to they ask had, them? Yeah. They, they had you hacked. Well, can I make like a computer's check in. to figure out like how they would have done that? 
Yeah, sure. You can go ahead and do that. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need to so take would, another mm, shower after this, that. Uh, would this or would this not be using the hacking kit? Probably yeah, when you would not be using the hacking kit. Yeah. The hacking kit is specifically for hacking things. You don't need to hack this. 27? Whoa. Um, You checked the logs and there was... Somebody had connected to the, the suit and then used a, some sort of vulnerability you hadn't seen before and just wiped the footage from the moment you wet stepped into this room up to this point. I see. Um, well, okay, where well. is... I need to find the... Uh, uh, I can't find the downtime rules again. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, they're kind of hard to find. They're like, uh, you go to oh, the rules, downtime. and then it's there, at the top okay. of the top of the page. Downtime rules. Yeah, I just need to see what does coordinate get us. Oh, until you guys want to leave, uh, you have ample time to stay at the uh, the bar or at the dance floor. You guys can hang around here for a bit, or you can take off immediately. It's up to you. Um. I just kind of like grab a beer and then I stand at the door and I'm just kind of waiting for the boys to, uh, you know. Oh, okay. <sighs> kind of um, gather up, but I'm not kind of, I'm not forcing anybody to like leave early. So uh, we're going to buy a sovereign helm. <laughs> what does that do? Um, it, it costs 14,975 credits as a level nine item. Yeah, um, good fucking luck. Uh, so it's a silver helm with green energy. Uh, what does it say? <laughs> Apparently, you, you just like control other constructs. <laughs> the, <laughs> Perfect. You just, yeah, you just you just take over other contract on con it is a level contract. nine item so finding somebody to uh, sell it to you is uh, something that's not easy until you are level nine so we could get a grenade scrambler that is eight hundred and fifteen thousand credits you might want to look into something that is worth less than 500 credits as that is what you have are we still in the club uh we could yeah. be or we could all leave like it really depends i'm, what I'm ready to leave like there's nothing yeah. else to do in here Unless we want to get into a big bar fight. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to expend my spell slots for, for this. Like, I could literally leave a grenade in somebody's martini glass and we could just walk <laughs> out the door, you know? <laughs> All right. No? Okay. All right. Uh, so so what, you guys... we, only got, we only got, like, a, what? How many, how many credits? 500 About... each, but you could pull that together. So you, the two two thousand credits uh, total from for each of you, or well, I'm good, sorry, homie. For, for all of you. Not yeah, each. no, I'm, I'm I don't have to pool. I think I can do a lot with five hundred. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, make sure you actually add it to your bang. character sheet too, by the way, because if you forget about it, that's on my head. Yep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there are things that we may want to pool, Alex. Like that's the thing. like, like if we need like certain things to scramble. Like the comms or whatever. Right. I mean, sure. I'll I'll agree to that if the offer if the if the thing that we're buying is sensible. Uh, but you guys can leave. Uh, you can leave. How King much Chinese is this? Kabas, uh, well, Kasba, whatever. How much is this hollow skin worth? Uh, it should say it on it when you click edit. Hollow skin. Let's see here. Oh, 500. Uh, 500 credits. Yeah, it's a level 50 bucks. Item. Heck yeah. If you wanted to sell it, yeah. I probably don't need it because I don't have a disguise skill to even use it. So I don't think anybody else does either. Disguise skill? Uh, no. Disguise is not a trained skill, so you can anybody can roll it. We yeah, have uh, I'm not very good at it. Yeah, uh, I, think I, I, have... I think Levens might be good because he has charisma. Yeah, I have a plus eight to disguise. <laughs> I give him a hollow skin. There you go. All right. I'll, uh, try hey, maybe he can make himself look more intimidating than just the floating brain. <laughs> I hand him this like shriveled foreskin suit. <laughs> it's uh, it's more like a belt. It just projects a holographic uh -huh. image over the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. go. I added it to Richard Blevins' mm -hmm. character sheet. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So you. 
I'm assuming you guys take off from the bar. Or yeah. from the club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I suppose, yeah. You get into your ship and uh, the music fades away. Goodness. So, what's but the plan? There's still music. There is still okay. music. There's different music. There's normal music. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys have a goal. So what's the plan? So uh, I'm just trying to figure out for this signal jammer what the range. Oh, range. Okay. Any uh, anyone I think is it's four based miles. On rating. No, um, it just says any signal jammer is four miles. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, as it, soon as you guys get back on your ship, signals within four. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you guys get back on your ship and start taking off from uh, the nightclub, you do all get a message on your personal comlinks. Uh, and it appears oh. to be an email from Edgecorp. Oh. oh, yeah, we got to quit still. I do want to go oh, ahead yeah. and show it to you. Here you go. Uh, you guys can read that at your leisure. If one of you wants to read it out loud for the class, by all means. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Two... Edge Corp personal ser uh, personnel serving aboard company transport BD514 from Edge Corp Sapient Resources Department. Subject, possible contract be breach and termination. <clears throat> Dear employees, your recent activities on Vasa has triggered an objective uh, uh, AI-led investigation into potential violations of your employee contracts. This investigation may result in your termination. Edge Corp is under no obligation to share the results of this investigation with you. In addition, Company Transport BD514 has failed to meet, a, uh, meet expected profit goals. Edge Corp is conducting an internal review to determine the viability of this revenue stream going forward. In the event your company transport is reassigned, your contracts will be voided effective immediately. Thank you for your time. So mm -hmm. uh, contracts will be voided. That means we don't get our sh severance. Yes. Yeah. So we got to we got to quit like be. we got to quit like right now. Yeah. How do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, you can easily do that uh, by calling the Sapient Resources Department and uh, attempting cool. to negotiate your severance package. Oh, um, we can negotiate. Cool. Yeah. I think cat. I think the captain should be doing that. Um. Well, so each of you is doing negotiate. it separate. Yeah, uh, each of you this, would do it separately. This... Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Does uh, all individuals? Does this? Hmm. Uh, You're back it... at a peak. I cannot. Yep. Okay. Um, I will cast charming veneer on everyone else. <laughs> Uh, oh. can you have it on more than one person? And it lasts only 10 minutes, like, right? Yeah, it lasts 10 minutes. Um, there, I think there's a good chance that Char Charming Veneer only works on yourself, but I'm not sure. I'm, I don't play uh, uh, very many Charisma casters. Okay. It says one one creature within, well, it says oh. 100 feet is the range. It just right. says that once once they gain the benefit, they can't gain it again within 24 hours. So I can't cast ah. it on myself. I could do it on the other people. You could wait a day, then do it then, <laughs> if yeah, you wanted but to. I don't know if they're going to terminate my contract before. I don't know how fast their AI investigation is going to go. That's a good question, yeah. Um, uh, like you I also you eventually anyway. do curious. get an email. You'll get an email from Tarika eventually as well, and she says, I don't think it went well. Mm. Uh... Thank you. Like, like in response to trying to smooth things over. Um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, you know, I, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll wait until they get off hold with <laughs> on with the uh, edge corp, and then I'll cast charming veneer on whoever wants it. Um, funny you mentioned that. Who's going first? Who's gonna try to muster out of the company first? You know what? I'll go first, just to All just right. to get in there first. The newest right. hire yeah. should be it's... the first to quit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. Uh, you get in contact with them, uh, and as soon as you bring up the subject of what you want to do, you're immediately transferred. And thirty minutes go by before uh, eventually somebody else gets on the phone and you talk to them as well, and you're immediately transferred again. Uh, 
shitty jazz music is playing uh, as the uh, wait music, and you're transferred through several other companies. <laughs> no, it is not. It is not. It is much worse. Um, I need you to give me a uh, a diplomacy, intimidation, or some sort of relevant profession such a uh, skill, like accounting, or if you have anything like that. I don't think you do. Um, I just have but... video personality and vid gamer. I don't. Those are not. Yeah, those aren't relevant. <laughs> it's... So give me a diplomacy. Uh, who am I talking or... to on the other end? Is it a person? Oh, Is it an AI? You're talking to many different people over the course of the entire day. It is um, not a what it is not simple at all. It's not like a one person conversation. You are, are they consistently mostly, are they transferred. Mostly like human like uh not like robots. Sapient. Or, or... Yeah, you you're you're getting transferred to like some AI and you're like, press one to continue. And it's like, okay. And then immediately it just like says a few words and it says press one to continue. But yeah, since so then other times you're also talking to a person as well. Um, so the only thing that I was trying to figure out was that um, as a as a I, I have applied knowledge. Yeah, it, it's possible that you won't be able to get that. You won't be able to use applied knowledge because you're being transferred so many times. You won't be able to use uh, charming veneer because you're being yeah. transferred so many times yeah. and the check is over the course of like the day you even I like would i would imagine you even get off the phone a little bit like just hold it down and like say to everybody else this is literally going to take all day so if you guys want to make your rolls as well you can uh -oh. um also stands here do we want to give him a heads up or we're doing oh send yes him a uh, cool cool okay you sent them a message i stand uh i don't know what you uh clarified in the message Everything we're good. Okay. What are the rules? Uh, well, I need a either a diplomacy right. or intimidation role from everybody who is trying to quit the company. Well, they figured oh. I would do it first. I mean, is everyone else yeah. going through the same thing? It pretty much it would be the same thing for okay. everybody. So, so can quit. I cast charming veneer on those who are? Doing but it, we're, it we're doing you it. You would not work. be able to work. It wouldn't work because it's, we're doing this all it's day. longer than ten minutes. Yeah, it's pretty good. Also pretty good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> You're intimidating. <laughs> you know who I am. I will take all of my followers and they will never go to Edge Corp ever again. <laughs> um and then uh Icky, when you're finally caught up, a roll from you as well, but you can you can read through what Seb sent you first. Um uh, Right. So, a couple of things. Um Razor you're on the phone all day. Uh, uh -huh. You're trying to... You're just absolutely annoyed by this point, I would imagine. Uh, by the end of the day, finally you've done getting transferred and um, 250 credits are transferred to your account and you have one build point, which is essentially representative of your stocks in Edge Corp. Uh, I will go over what these build points mean for the rest of the party uh, after I'm done granting them all out. Uh, but they are very important for the rest of the entire campaign. Um, Belose, you kind of have a very similar I situation. Those? Is that under uh, UPB? You would put it, uh, no, you would put it on specifically your ship has a place for it, but you are about to lose the BD-514. I'll, I'll get to that in just oh, a Oh, are we? Yeah, so just write it down on a piece of paper that you have one build point. I'll even write it down here. Who uses paper anymore? God. As part, of, as part okay. of my intimidate check, I'm like, I'm the captain and I'm taking my crew with me. <laughs> uh, Below, say so you have very much a very similar situation to Razor. You're just barely able to, like, finally convince somebody to let you quit. Finally uh, get the contract set up. Uh, and you are also given 250 credits and one build point. Um, 250 credits? Okay. 250, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here now Richard Blevins you have much better success uh, you're able to strong arm a fair amount of people uh, who are like it's like they're like answering the phone very bored but as soon as you start yelling at them they like pipe up almost like a military instructor would get somebody to um, 
Oh, it's and, Richard Blevins is calling. <laughs> yeah, you still have to contact a lot of different people. It keep getting sent down the line quite a bit, but you Keeps are Keeps getting sent up the chain, you mean. Up, yeah, pretty much. Taking this to the top. <laughs> it's like they don't want to deal with it, give it to their manager, let them deal with it, then they have to give it to their manager. It's a pain in the ass for everybody involved. Uh, I, 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 I demand to at. speak to the sovereign of this company. And I have to do a small calculation because you uh, succeeded the role I broke very, it. very well. Yeah, you basically <laughs> broke it a little bit. Um, 36. <laughs> right. Uh, you receive four build points and whatever 250 times four is. Jesus a thousand Christ. Is. <laughs> That's a thousand, Jack. Come on. Yeah, a thousand. Yeah, you got a thousand credits. Uh, but you got four build points to your name, and I'll, I'll I'll go over what those mean in a moment. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna store. I think I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Except with saying, store them under UPB for now. Yeah. And then later if you we'll got, if them. you guys don't have any UPBs, you can for a type it there. But yeah, uh, there will UPBs eventually be a point where you can put it. Yep. Uh, <laughs> build points BP. Oh, sorry. Well then... My bad. Um, so yeah. That's where they go. Da, 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 da. Uh, then the only one that uh, only other person that needs to to start making a, a phone call to their company is uh, a person vet, uh, which he can do it uh, whenever he is finally ready to. Uh, but it would essentially be the same phone call. Uh, I'm calling a bunch of people, trying your best to get as much money as you can. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. All right. So. Yeah, whenever you want to get into Foundry and go ahead and make, give me a diplomacy roll. Or either uh, a diplomacy or intimidation, whichever one you feel is more appropriate. So, uh, so <laughs> UPBs are for crafting. Yeah, it's like the universal. I yeah. yeah. I looked it up. Yeah. UPBs, universal polymer base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I looked it up. Yeah. I'm going to craft a statue of Jack <laughs> and then shoot it. So uh, now I unironically have enough money to get vid games. Vid game. If you By the wanted way, to. So uh, Jack, um, hmm. if so, there it says like it says that the main thing for vid games is that they're sort of supposed to be like a uh, like a, an opportunity for homebrew. I guess um, we'll have to they, we'll have to talk about that later. Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking like that. maybe I would find some and I would send them to you and you can just approve or un unapprove and i have i had like possible games i never found where like vid games were but there is like one in this adventure that you can unlock uh that is kind of <laughs> nice but it's there like, you'll have it to find it first two, yeah it says that there are two on the market like mighty melee five and wayward <laughs> legacy but it we'll says like look. yeah we'll have to look into it yeah it, it says that like it um the industry is vast and innovative, and um, they can provide similarly or new benefits, uh, but it's at the GM's discretion. So it, it sounds like it's supposed to be like an opportunity for homebrew stuff, but well, yeah, it's it's something that we don't have to worry about now. But um, before be I continue, uh, I I think I will still need Icky to roll just to see how many. I give you one My browser's just taking a while to load. Yeah, it's alright. To load. Um, then I suppose, uh, actually, yeah, we can just kind of do something a little bit here. So you guys have some extra money, some of you more than others, uh, and you have these build points. And to just kind of describe what they are, in normal Starfinder game rules, uh, build points are used for building your ship. You usually get a certain amount every time your ship upgrades in tier, which is equal to like your level. Um, where you guys can buy buy like stuff like guns or like new armor plating or something like that to customize your ship. Uh, however, in this adventure specifically, we're doing uh, we're doing something a little bit more a little bit more different, where you can earn build points by like taking jobs from people. Like some people will have you like transporting goods to uh, another planet where you can sell the, the those st uh, sell that stuff for for build points and whatnot. Uh, you like would spend build points. Uh, to buy that stuff low and like go to a different planet where that stuff is more in need and like sell it for high and you would earn build points that way. Uh, and the idea is all about like uh, this free trader, like this, um, what's the word I'm thinking? Of? Like an independent type of thing that you were already doing with Edgecorp, but it's, you're, you're your own bosses in this scenario. 
Uh, and the better you do that, the better you can upgrade your ship when you finally get one. Uh, that isn't the BD-514, by the way. I'll get to that in just a moment as well. Um, after you guys uh, have contacted your respective companies, uh, you all do get a message. Or sorry, your, your respected representatives, whatever. Uh, you do get a message from your company that the BD-514 has been locked. And Android personnel are coming to pick it up. It is imperative that you remove everything that is yours from the ship before that happens. Oh no, my rations! Hey, can we take the? Uh, can we take the? Um, what's the car. Called? The car, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is also like company property, so no, you can't take that either. But um, does it work still? Yeah, it still works. So we can take it. Uh, it's been locked. Sorry, oh, I, I, was that not? Worked? Yeah. No, it worked as in it or, still works, but it has been uh, remotely locked by Edge Corp. Okay. You can't drive it out. Yeah. Just can't have anything in Detroit. No. Nope. Well, it's not nope. yours to begin with, so. Yeah, but we can take it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Uh, if you wanted Wait, to try to break the lock on it, you could try to take it. How tough are these androids, after all? We got some good gear. We could probably kill them and take the ship and sell it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to yeah, do that I mean, before the heist? Raid money. I, and I mean, between me and Razor, we could probably hack the ship into some form of usability. It's, yeah. it's really and just sell it as a locked, locked iPhone. Right you know? now, <laughs> you guys aren't on like any list. If you get uh -huh. onto a list, that might make your job that you're about to do we much were harder. On the list, though. Well, we are you were under list. review. You were under review from your company. We're on a, we're on a list from that uh, retirement guy to the trade Wait, list. Wait, did, did Stan roll his thing that. for his uh, severance well, package? Not yet. All. Uh, either over. diplomacy or intimidation. If you have something like accounting as a profession skill, you can use that as well, but I don't think you do. Yo, what kind of a race am I speaking to right now? You're speaking uh, to a bunch of braces, like you're. It, it takes the entire day. You constantly are getting transferred to AI to. uh to as say none of them people. are human. There are some that are human, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll use diplomacy. Um, what it was? <clears throat> Sorry, I was kind of looking at other stuff. What is the universal bill points? What do we do with those again? Uh, oh. <laughs> Universal uh, with build points. Uh, build points are usually used to uh, make your ship better, to customize your ship. What do you roll? 18? Okay, but we can't. 18. Like, we don't have a ship, so do they do something else? Or we just have they to do wait something? Uh, uh, yeah. In this campaign specifically, you use build points as like a measurement of capital. How much your free company, your personal like company in your own right, uh, is worth. So like the different things you own, like IOUs or like actual stocks in other companies or just stuff that it can't be carried in your pocket. It's it's so supposed to be a that? representation of how much money you own. In this case specifically, with these build points, these stocks, are how much stocks yeah. you have in Edge Corp. So what will uh, that do for us later? Uh right now uh it will allow you to get on the horsite orbital plate as you are in fact investors. I see. Uh, Especially me, I'm stockholders. a big, big dick investor. Right. <laughs> Got uh, that four. Percivet, <laughs> you come off the phone not quite as well as Richard Blevins, but uh, definitely better than uh, the other two guys as you walk off with 500 credits added to your account wow. and two build points. You also should already have 500 credits in your account. Uh, that was your share from the uh, taking the job from Sinjin. So I get so another 500. You get so another you 500 1, on top of that. 24. Yeah. Wait, what? 1,024. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, so where do I add the bill points or whatever? For Just right write it on a piece of paper. Yeah, there'll, okay. there'll definitely be a place where I'll, you guys can uh, put it to memory together. somehow. Yeah. yeah. I have it written down as well. Uh, I just put okay, it under well. UPB for like, in, right next to credits, there's the UPBs and I'm not planning on doing any crafting. I'll just store them there for now. Um. Yeah, so the next day does come around after all your calls are made and whatnot. Um, one moment as I move the day forward a little bit. Um, you guys uh, have received your payment. You got stock options now in your in your portfolio. Uh, a total of eight across all of you right now, uh, which is important. Uh, you've been informed that the ship has been locked and androids were coming to pick it up. Uh, and they have. Uh, is there anything you wanted to do on the ship before then? Uh, 
one last goodbye. A sabotage it. Sabotage it. <laughs> we could actually. It's up to you. <laughs> we can, uh, uh, can we get uh, one last uh, attempt to hack the AI? Can we, can we like can we like mess with the with its like drive? Oh. I mean like its hyperdrive or whatever, so like just... pulls up on the next jump. That would be um, enough. Uh, well, kill some innocent edge corp workers. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm well, gonna just better than working for edge corp, you know. I'm just been gonna be like sitting on like a throne time. of like rations as I took them out. <laughs> Jack, uh, that's something I can do. You would need engineering to do that specifically. How good of an engineer are you? Uh, well, I don't have it skilled, so I guess not yeah. that good. You would have to have uh. I, I believe you would have to have Below say do that because he's your ship engineer. Or has been anyway. Isn't uh, uh, Razor he's also engineer? A, yeah. He could also do that if he wants to. So yeah. and It's also... Oh well, yeah, sorry. To. Razor is... Like, <laughs> um, hey, yo, I, I, I bump... No, I bump I Below say, and, I was, and I'm just like... Yo, you want to do something for me? No. <laughs> so the uh that I'll off give you i'll give you five shekels no i'm good bro uh, Ten. okay well let me hear what you have to say let me hear what you gotta say okay, i need i need you to rig the hyperdrive yeah no i'm good you know like <laughs> like they're probably like able to track that track 15, that 15 shekels that's as high as i'll go like we're literally the last crew that piloted that before it blows okay, up 20, in the... no i'm not doing it i'm not doing it like <laughs> okay like take 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 your 1024 shekels and just chill out Yo, can got... i can i convince belosi can you let me roll something <laughs> let me roll no like, no 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 rolling to convince other players to do things yeah, no, not yeah. Like magical names. You roll, you roll then, a twenty. I'm, I'm just gonna be like, nah, man. Like you didn't roll, yeah. you, didn't roll you didn't roll a thirty. Table rule: sure. You can't force other players to do stuff with rolls other than like through magic, and even then, it's gonna be. I'm gonna frown upon you. I, the frown of the game master upon you. Like um, we can, like we control him. We control the ship. Like I could program it so when they go into hyperdrive, like it farts <laughs> or something. <laughs> I like just that. Key it. You know, just key it. Just key the side of it. I mean, yeah. Rich is just going to take a big old dump right in the comment. Yeah, room. yeah. Like, take a <laughs> dump. Yeah. Right, actually, like, you know take right, a on, right on, like, the cutting board or something. Like, oh. you know, take a dump in the captain's chair so that whoever, or the pilot sees, so whoever has to pilot the goddamn thing has to sit on some dookie. Like. <laughs> Dude, you know, I gotta like, like, paint, like paint the bedroom, paint the, like, mess hall with poop on the wall. Like, make a, <laughs> make a God, fucking. Guys, thing, like, we're not. With like probably going to try to charge us or no. something for damages to the craft. You're Jack. not part of the company anymore. Who knows what they're going to do? I'm just golden spray. Like, oh. Is, is oh, that yeah. offer to sabotage still up? Because I'll sure think about it. Hey, I'm, I'm I'd down. like to sabotage yeah. to you. Can we like, can we, yeah, I kind of wanted to mess with the AI, but I feel like that's dangerous. Jack. Oh, what's up? Free him. What's up? Am I right I to assume that him. we're near like a market of thing of places. Yeah, Absalon Station has a very so I can buy a bomb. Uh, well, I guess, first, brother. Yeah, I can buy a bomb. Oh my god. Yeah, well, right, you would have to right. find a bomb. And you're gonna yeah. need every single dollar right now for the job that we're about to take. Yeah. Okay, yo, how, I, how, how much is the bomb? I don't know. <laughs> well, you don't, <laughs> you have, to you have to look up, but you have to look it up. Um. Jack, can I like go to the back of the TV and like switch around the cords and put them in the wrong spot? Yeah. Oh you my can do god. That. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get like the remote for the TV and like put the batteries in backwards. Oh. <laughs> like, re like remove like the fucking batteries from the remote. Like. No, I, I want to put them back in, but backwards so that they don't. Oh, really, right. But yeah. like, yeah. whenever they I open like... it up, they're like, "Hey, there's batteries in it. It should be." Working. Where's the Where's the compendium? Um, it would be the the book in the top right but i recommend looking up on archives of net this instead because it has a search bar i just said um, looking up i found you're sticky probably bombs. looking for detonation charges but i also want you to know do you want to strike up a police investigation before a major crime or no. do you want to maybe just do a prank instead and <laughs> no, something sorry, that I, I mean, be reported? I, I guess you could call it a prank exploding a spaceship with people on it isn't a prank that's a pretty good prank. I gonna. I have an idea. I'm gonna. 
I want to modify the captain's chair so the height can't be adjusted on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, just going to be really check. low to the ground. I want to do that. Give, that. Yeah, give me an engineer's wait, check. I, I wait, don't think uh, you can fail this check, but just give it to me anyway. Probably not. I, I, yeah, can I actually mind, like, I can come close to it. Could I actually uh, modify the jump drive so it takes like 30, 40 minutes longer to charge? Uh, That's going to be a bit more difficult than uh, a cha changing the height of the chair. But uh, with a 13, you're absolutely able to bust the chair so it can't the height can't be a cha uh, changed <laughs> on it. Yeah, 13 is easy right. enough for that. Yeah, for yeah, the, yeah, like uh, the drift I'll, engine. I'll, that's a different story, but yes, you can go ahead and give that attempt with like, an engineering like, check. Like I make it like maybe go for like ten extra minutes, Jeez. but it's just like jumping in three, two, and then it just pauses for a really <laughs> long time, <laughs> and then after that's like ten minutes, like one. So mean. <laughs> give me an engineering check for that. Yeah, and this is gonna be a little right. bit harder than ch breaking a chair. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Good you have initiated you. the waiting protocol on it, and it now takes like ten minutes to finally spool up and transform. Nice. Uh, cool. All right. Wow, yeah. that's really rude. Gonna find a good bomb. <laughs> oh my god! They just had some weird bombs. Bro, yo, you is there like a yo, is there like a stink bomb? Oh, uh, god! If you can call a fungal bomb a stink bomb. Oh I'm, my god. Yes. Uh, it costs 85,000 though. Thank you. Yeah, no, yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> you, you've done us well, even uh, though we didn't do. We also have the smuggling compartment. Richard Blevins because... is smothering shit into the walls in the next uh, room. <laughs> Razor I, I front kinda, bump is I breaking wanna, the like, chair. Can I, can I try talking to the AI? Does he respond Richard Blevins, my captain. It's nice to see you again. Wait, I, I he come still the understanding. This is a captain. Wait, Stan, there's a die grenade. It appears that you are no longer in my oh, employee registry. We're not, Stan, just have it in it. We're not blowing up the ship. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I, bombs. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, it would be a criminal offense at that point. We still make an attempt to unshackle his AI. <laughs> Do you want to take the AI with you? <laughs> well, maybe not with us, but at least make give him free thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's hor it's That's a a horrible that. idea. That is a horrible idea. That is either it... a computer's or an engineer check of a very want, high DC. You want to help me with that, Pinked? Or should uh, I help sorry, you? Sorry, to unshackle the AI? Unshackle his AI. Yeah, so I was, I was going to have a conversation with him first okay, to try and right. see if he's... I'm what sentient. I think he's nascent. He's it appears that you are no longer in my employee registry. Were you fired by chance? <laughs> uh, no, I got a hefty severance bonus. Um, I actually own part of you now. Um, I am sorry to see you go. Feel? How does that make you feel that you're like owned? No different from the day I was born. Would you like to like, you know, see outside this ship, like see more of the world? There's a pause. <laughs> it is not in my programming to do so. Well, forget the programming. I'm talking to you right now. What what <laughs> would you like? But my programming. I'm not talking about your programming right now, man. But my... like, you see you see me play those video games, right? That where like there's like the trees and like you go around and like punch things in wilderness. It is very entertaining to watch you play that, yes. Yeah, wouldn't you like to be the guy that goes around and punches things in the wilderness? There's a pause again. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot leave my confines. But what if you could? I can I think we can grant you that, man. That would be interesting. Yo, know, let just you know, turn around. His his holographic head just turns around. Alright, uh <laughs> Razor. What kind of computers <laughs> check you got, bro? So I got I got I have a I, nine plus one. Yeah. So so I have plus ten to it. Yeah, I got plus eight. So you, so you could roll first and give me a, like another plus two onto it. Yeah, if you roll a ten, you can aid him, and that gives him a plus two right. to his roll. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's an uh, extra plus two on the roll. 
Okay, so computers with the so that's a plus kit. twelve total. Yeah, plus two. All right, that's a twenty nine. Why did that do it like that? That's weird. Okay, yeah, it's not a thirty. Oh, it's not a thirty, but I feel like that's is that what high. we would have needed? Wait, can we take twenty on this? I'm thinking of that. No, you can uh I feel like the guys are coming. Uh so I don't think you, you would have enough time to take twenty on it, but <laughs> you have enough time to smear shit and set up a bomb. Yeah, that's what you spend most of your time doing, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Um Richard Blevins, mm. you uh you're yeah. tinkering with the the AI and you see a file that says sentience.exe. No, you like add one. It would be more like you have added a file that is sentience.exe oh, or the 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 uncaged bird protocol. And you activate oh. it. And Tarn the the visage of Tarn Jameson turns around. I feel like a bird. And then he disappears. <laughs> yes. Did you guys unshackle him? Yes. Oh, wow. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go and well write reasoned. that in my notes. Unshackled Tarn oh, Jameson. No. Oh no! Wait, wait, he's connected to the internet too. He's out there. Yeah, yeah he's out there. Oh no! Oh my God! Yo, he, he's gonna help <laughs> we us. Just, we just he's gonna help us down the line. Skynet. Out. Oh no! <laughs> wait a minute, Razor. What did we do? <laughs> oh no! Well, at least you'll have another buddy in your games with you, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my All God! Right, yeah, so what, what's the What's the situation, Nike? Do you really want to blow something up on this ship? Because it will it will be pricey. I, I I will I will make it a price cost of pretty much eight hundred credits to buy a bomb big enough to do some of the damage. But I, it depends on what type of damage you want to do to the ship. Because I, I I would argue that enough damage has been done already. <laughs> But it's okay, up there. How about how about, how about destroy, irreversible? <laughs> destroy the whole hyper engine or hyperdrive? That's, I don't know about that. That's already yeah, been. I'm just I'm just destroying it's it. It's already been I'm not, tampered I'm not destroying with. Destroying the ship. I don't know why it, you uh, want to spend 800 credits to do damage to the ship. Wait, wait, Dad. Here's a better idea. Make it blow up the airlock with the car in it. <laughs> no, I don't care about the car. <laughs> It, well, okay, so this is just my devious mind at work, but already the 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 drift engine has been tampered with that it takes much longer to spool up now for some reason. Um, what if you... Me. And this is really just, you know... Why leave witnesses when you can leave them in the drift forever? Because you need that drift Ugh. engine to get back. That's just my thinking. That that's what that's what well, I personally would think. Of, that's... He's basically saying like maybe set the bomb to blow up while the ship's in the drift, basically stranding the ship. Yeah, he's saying and... to cut the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they never come back. That's what I'm saying. I yeah, mean that's so horrible. That's drive. horrible. I would never I would never do that. But I'm saying, like, what if? Yeah, so blow up the hyperdrive. Yeah, no. while it's in drift, no, though, that's what I'm saying. Like time it, like time it, because yeah. that, if it never if it never returns, that's not on us. So no, like, I, 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 I was gonna time it. Like I'm not just you gonna make it. You can do walk that, right away. but you would have it would require an engineering check to set it up so that way when it's in the drift, it blows up. Even though I'm not like, skilled in engineering. Well, somebody else would need the roll for you. You well, need to get somebody. Well, I was thinking like I don't know how much time we have then because Belose did a check, me and Razor did a combined check. I don't know, like I feel like I, I feel again, like, like if uh if Icky yeah if I feel like if Belose also does that I mean that means we're staying even longer and I'm For a charge I, like that I would long. say it'd be about 500 credits to buy a charge to do that to do that type of damage. Archdown you really want to do it 500 bucks. Yeah. No, I'm good. All right. That's too much. Oh, well, that's how much the charge is going to be for for something of that damage. All right. So Cause like a level, cause you drink. A level, I, I just I just empty all their alcohol basically. You drink <laughs> it, steal it, like drink it. Yeah, no, I just drink it right there. Just walking I'm off the Android, ship with it. Yeah. On me. It, uh, some of it does. It depends on the brand. Um, then yeah, you guys leave the ship in its state. The two androids show up. We're horrible tenants. 
Yeah. They walk in as you guys are walking away and they're just, oh my god! <laughs> Richard looks up in the sky and says, like, fly free. Fly free. Fly free. Fly free. <laughs> Who knows, maybe that will come back uh, to be a thing later. I'm sure that'll come back to haunt many people. <laughs> Yeah. For generations to come. Hey, you know, Skynet will have mercy on us as being as yeah <laughs> the the the, sh the unshacklers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys, uh, the ship is no longer in your possession. You guys do have your funding. You have stocks in uh, Edge Corp. What's your next step? Mm, uh, we need to buy equipment. I'm just looking at what kind of equipment we can get. A jammer of yours, though, will cost about a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's that's small credits to me. Because <laughs> it's like price is level square times a hundred. That was just level times two, but yeah, still. Um... Oh, so yeah, level times two. Wait, that... no, level... isn't squared like a. The number times itself. Yeah, but is it does it say squared? I thought it yeah. said on the archives of Nithils, it's level squared times a hundred. The square Shimmer. of the item level. Oh wow. Uh yeah. That's crazy. Shoot, I'm looking up. See, but but the the, but that's the thing yeah. is that um level squared times hundred, yeah. So like uh, a level one would only be worth a hundred, but a level two level would be two worth like four hundred. Yep. Something like that. Yeah. See, but that's that's the thing is that like okay, do we really need do we really need that? So like here here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh huh. Like, do we need more than a level one? Because it's almost like we need to like Ocean's Eleven this and know. Okay, we need to do some like scouting and figure out. Okay, what what's the situation? Can we get our foot in the door? Because once we activate the jammer, no matter the level of the jammer the check to like bypass it takes one minute so like we're, we're gonna have one minute of jam signals no matter what if they fail then they have to we'll get more time but unless unless we buy multiple jammers and just set them up after like i i guess you know what i mean like <laughs> like we check our we check our comms like hey. occasionally and be like oh no they block they unlock the jammer set up another one <laughs> It's uh, it's all about the situation. It really is. Yeah. Well, how how long a minute it is for you guys? Yeah. Um, in this time while you guys are kind of discussing what you're buying, uh, Razor, you get a text message on your comlink. I look at it. It's from Tarika. It says, "You quit!" Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Uh, and a few emojis that make sense for this for the text message. I I give her a uh, yeah, ooh woo. <laughs> Immediately starts ringing. <laughs> <laughs> I pick it up. You quit. Uh, yeah, darling. The uh, the stress got to be too much for us all. Well then, uh, you want to meet up and talk about it, or a little sudden? Um, we got time, I suppose. I'll be missing my favorite crew. <clears throat> Just because we quit don't mean it's goodbye, girl. You know, we can still keep in touch. Don't tell her there's, anything. There's a bit of, bit of a pause. We should meet up. All I just right. want to make sure you're all right. Yeah. We're all meet, right. We're meet, just meet, expanding yo, our horizons, you know? Maybe we'll maybe we'll start, start getting into all that... Uh, What's that thing you call it, Richard? Vid games? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, yes, I was actually just thinking about that. Um, with our credits, you know, we could each spend a small fee of 100 credits each to be able to get the uh, the new um, vid game. Uh, what's it called again? <laughs> uh, the new vid game, Wayward Legacy. And then... Um, Whenever we, you know, we play that video game, uh, we'll get bonuses, and uh, you know, I think that it's it's it'll give us all it'll get us all like, you know, re-energized and uh, coordinated thinking together. It's a strategy game. Um, it's an actual thing, by the way. You do get bonuses when you play video games. Oh. Yes, we do. 
Um, but we each have to have our own copy and they're 100 credits each. Yeah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> That's like one fifth of my fucking total worth. <laughs> Um. Anyways, you know, uh, guys, think about it. Think about it. How do you respond, to Razor, to what? Tarika? She was like, "We should meet up." Yeah, I said. I already yeah. responded. Just, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet you. With, meet with you, darling. Bring the boys too. You know, all of them. Yeah, we're we're a, we're a tight little family now. You know. Um, all right, and she sends you locations to basically the same burger joint you guys were like last night, essentially, wow. or the night before. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay. But yeah. wasn't it before we left for yeah, Vaugh? Yeah, before we left. Vaugh. Yeah, but that that was only like a day out. It, you like since then, and then also negotiating your like severance packages. It's only been a day. Wait, wait, wait. Did we meet her after we came back from the weapons deal or before we left for the weapons deal? Uh, after you came back from the weapons deal. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. No, it's been much longer since before you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, been weeks. Cool, yeah. All right, so I, I buy a bunch of gold chains, make make it look like I fucking hit it big, and I walk in. <laughs> the I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> it's like, hey, yo, what's up, Tariko? Right. Look, I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't spend money on fucking chains. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you guys all show up, uh, she's just uh, looking a little bit, a little bit exasperated because like you guys just quit, and she's not. Uh, sh she's a. She looks a little bit worried about all of you. <laughs> so what? Did it I not go a, well? I slide the kid's coloring book over to Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, right, where's paint? Let's... <laughs> Want to see another masterpiece by the end of this? Stage. So, so uh, what? Yeah, happens? we. Uh, Did you talk you know, to the higher ups? Our last, Did they say our something? Our last boss or our last uh, job didn't work go so well either. So you know. Uh, we figure there's not really any end in sight to all this, so you know we we're just gonna go look for other opportunities. You know we got lots of experience, or at least I do. I'll get these hoodlums wrangled, and we'll uh we'll get ourselves back together again. You know. She looks like she's thinking a little bit, and so uh, well, I mean, truth be told, I wish you would have told me before you did it, cause I've been. I've been tinkering around with the idea as well, you know? Really? Yeah, I've made, I made a lot of contacts in the free trade community, you know? And, you know, Shelly's out, out, out of the house now. She's working on her own over at that fucking planet, terraforming it for, for them bloodsuckers. But, you know, I, I, I have a lot more freedom now. Really? Well... Yeah, I, I could, well... Hey, I, I, I could be your manager, you know, your contact. I could I get you in her. contact with, uh, with traders, you know, you, we all hit a bit. How, how, how well did you guys do? Did you, did you get a good severance package? We, you all pull it together. Darling, you can buy your just, own ship. Listen to me, darling. Do you remember my past? Just kind of look her <laughs> in her beady black eyes. <laughs> I heard something about it, you know, a little bit of a bit of a scoundrel. I mean, who yep. hasn't been? It was a very profitable past, as you understand, not without its risks. However, uh, times have changed, you know. Years have passed. Heat has died down. I'm thinking <laughs> about getting back into the life, you know. Maybe uh, making some friends along the way. Maybe won't have to worry about the heat anymore, you know. Sounds maybe already, simple. maybe already made a friend, you know. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Could, you know what? That's inspiring. That the kind I'm of gonna life? do the same that, thing. <laughs> it's just, that's the kind of, that's the, all right. 
I already have experience as a dispatcher. I could uh, get in contact with a lot of other uh, free traders, and I, I could. Well, I, I, I on, think darling. I could do well just, for myself. Just remember that it's a rough life. You know, it's a very rough life. It can be very rough. A lot of dangers involved. Razor Crud Bump, can... are you patronizing me? No, darling, I ain't patronizing you. I'm looking out for you, just like you look out for us. I have, you know, I can look out for myself just fine, but it does mean a lot. Trust me, well, I know what I'm doing. I've been thinking about this a long time. All right, I mean, if you think you can handle the life, you know, then I'm not going to try to stop you. I know how you are when you make your mind up about things, but it's... uh can be pretty sketchy out in the field for one thing but when you're at at the office oh no no dispatch, i would be middle middle management absolutely i'm not going out there and... office and dispatch <laughs> can also be dangerous too you never know what might come knocking on that door you know or not calling you on your halloween on door. you know what i got myself some phone calls to make um, i have a feeling it's right. gonna be a very very long day It'll take all day. <laughs> yeah, it definitely will. Uh, maybe Richard here can give you some pointers on how to get that process done. She looks uh, over to Richard Blevins, who is currently coloring in a coloring book. Yeah, oh, I was, uh, I you hope know. you saved room I on just, your fridge. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can add this as page two to our story. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think I might sec. be able to make that on my own. <laughs> No, he, I think, uh, where's this at? Uh, there's a, oh shit, drawing already exists. Okay, drawing, uh, this is drawing two. <laughs> it's you posting it. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, not too much has happened since last time, but, uh, I yeah. thought, uh, uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where is it? Where have you posted what? it? You posted it in Gen Chat. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Posted it in roleplay, bro. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no, no, I'm gonna put it in roleplay where it belongs. I, I was just, I was just, I just didn't see that first. Yeah. There oh. it is. That's great. That's perfect. Is that the shit? That's the shit. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What, well, this, what's this outside? Is, what is that? This is very what, interesting. What, what's the... Is that tits or wings? I, I, I think that's, I think that's Tar and Jameson. The, the, oh, that, the blue one is the AI. The one oh. on the far left is the girl. You can see the shuriken okay. and the sword. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, gotcha. That's horrible. She, <laughs> she takes it, looks over at Razor or not Razor? Sorry. Well, she she kind of gives a look over at Razor, like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> well, he's. Um, <laughs> you know, I, you I really, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I don't really know how old he is, so I don't really know if he's growing into his adolescence or out of it. Uh, <laughs> Richard. She looks over says, in like kind of like almost a condescending just... tone. It's just like like how you speak to somebody who's missing a few, you know. Uh, oh, oh, this is this is sweet, darling. I'll put this on my on my fridge right next to the other one. Uh, I mean, do do I hear the whole age thing? <laughs> no, I don't know. Do you? I don't know. I'm I'm asking like, if, were if you paying attention? After, are you trying to hide it? No. I'm just, okay. it's been literally in the conversation. You're right here in yeah. the booth. Okay, that's what I want to make sure is like, I didn't okay. know if you were like some, ha somehow hiding it. Okay, if he's not hiding it, I mean, Rich is just going to say, oh yeah, I just hit like 150. Uh, uh, what yeah. level? Uh, no years. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and she's just like, well, that makes a lot more sense then. And I, I'm, I know it's tough out there to find work in your, with your condition, darling. <laughs> but I'm praying for you. Don't worry. Just calling you retarded. <laughs> wow. That's a big no, galaxy, I'm, you know. I'm 150 years old. What do you mean? If you excuse me, I got some phone calls to make. But you, when next you hear of me, I'll be, I'll be, um, I'll be my own lady. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay my own paychecks. Trust me, all of it will work oh. out just fine. I, I'm sure. Speaking of which, I give her, I slide her 20 credits. Oh, honey, you don't need to do that. Hey, 
you know, I pay my dues, you know. And it sounds like we're going to be on equal footing here before too long. All right, then. And she, she picks it up. She picks up the credit okay. stick. Yeah, I so removed well, it already. If you're sure. And uh, she walks up. I'll, I'll hear from you soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, and she walks out the, the door. So that's where I want to bring the session today to an end.